I found a website making over $3,000 every single day by turning regular photos into Studio Ghibli styled art. So I copied it and made money within the first 48 hours. In this video, I'll show you exactly how I got the idea, how I built it using hacks, how the marketing worked, how much money it made, and what I changed next time. So I saw this tweet of this guy making 3000 bucks a day with a simple chat GPT wrapper turning photos into Ghibli style images using GPT 4.0's image generator. But back in those days, 10 days ago, chat GPT was still rolling this out and it didn't seem like all paid users would get this feature. Eight days ago, my free ChatGPT was enabled to have limited GPT-40 image generation, so I figured I'd get the unlimited generation with the paid version. So right after work on a Friday night, I spent my 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. building this website. I thought copying others was cringe, but nowadays my thinking is that trying to invent something new is ego and arrogance. And before you get on your high horse, consider this. ChatGPT copies everyone with their training data, and when they went viral and thought they copied them with Claude, Google copied them with Gemini. Facebook copied them with Llama by pirating a bunch of textbooks for their training data. So the guy that's building a wrapper on top of a company that's copying everyone else's data to use as training data, I'm going to copy him too. Because there's no GPT-40 API, the setup was a little tricky. So how it works is user goes to my website and after payment, what I'll do is I have a recorded macro that would drag and drop their photo into ChatGPT, tell to make it Ghibli style, and then it'll save it. Once it's done saving, it's going to email the user the finished picture. Okay. But in order to use recorded macros, I actually need Windows. So what I did was I bought an AWS Windows node. And in order to connect it to the internet, what I need to do is make a static IP on AWS and then attach it to my AWS instance. And the next step is to open ports 443 and 80 in both AWS and Windows Firewall. This is pretty straightforward. You just ask ChatGPT how to do it. But then after that, what I need to do is install Nginx on Windows. And what happens is when I install Nginx and a user sends a request to the static IP is that Nginx will take this request and then forward it to my Django server. And Django will use Waitress and not GUnicorn because for some reason the latter doesn't work on Windows. After all that's done, I bought a .xyz domain name on Namecheap because I'm cheap and it only costs two bucks. And all I did was set the DNS records to point to the static IP that I did in step one. Now that everything's set up, I need to get that money man. I tried posting various TikToks and videos, but none of it seemed to work. My wifey helped me market it by spamming threads replies where people were looking for exactly this type of service. Yes, threads. Shortly after, I started getting a bunch of abandoned carts, but no conversions. Depressed, I went to the site I copied again to see if he changed anything, and I noticed that instead of sending them to Stripe checkout session like he did before as like a separate page, he embedded the checkout form so customers never had to leave the page. So I did the same. After this little hack, sales started rolling in. All right, let's talk about how much money I made. And it's kind of a bit disappointing. But as you can see, there was good potential for exponential growth of this first day. Second day, March 30th, was about nine bucks. And then it went up to about $16, $17, almost doubled. And then the volume started slowing down to 12 bucks. And then it kind of decayed exponentially like this two bucks. And then uh, basically nothing. Now, to be fair, between this day and this day, March 30th and March 31st, I did double the price from 99 cents to $2 because the guy I'm copying is actually charging $4. Um, but this exponential decline isn't just seen on my site. It's seen on my site and the store I'm copying. So, for example, this is his site. And in the first couple days, he already did, um, I want to say the first three days-ish, he already did 6,000 images, but in the past five, six days, additionally, he was only able to do uh, 153 sales. Now for him, he's charging four bucks. So that's still 600 bucks. That's pretty great, like 3K MRR. But this, I'd imagine this is DK will just keep speeding up and 
there's just going to be less and less money to be squeezed out of this. So you can see within a week, he's made about 3% of what he did in the first three days, which is we were doing value investing and the revenue is shrinking. Those magnitudes, you probably short or stay away from that company. And so I think there's two major headwinds that's causing this. One, the memes dying down and it was kind of short-lived anyway. And the second major headwind is that ChatGPT now lets free users do GPT-40 image generation. So why would anyone pay four bucks for it if they can drag and drop into ChatGPT and then just type in, give me this in Ghibli style, right? You can make the argument that you can do prompt engineering and so on and so forth. I think GB40 is so smart though that it's not like stable diffusion where you need to prompt it very specifically to get very specific image generations. It's smart enough that you can just say something that is more or less abstract and it'll get the right result. So I plan to shut down the site soon. But before I give up completely, I wanted to see if I could drum up sales by making viral videos because that seems to have more leverage than spamming threads. But how do you make a viral video? I tried two things. First, I noticed comments seemed to be enraged and kept saying things like AR is an art and it's theft or whatever. And as if all of a sudden half America had a daily habit of commissioning paintings of themselves to look like Ghibli art. And AI art is now somehow disrupting that imaginary industry. So I made a rage bait video that had the caption AI art is an art and this generated a lot of comments and anytime someone would post a comment, I rage bait them to get more comments out of them to grab more views because if they're typing, the video loops for 10 times in the background and so the algorithm thinks that people are really, really enjoying your video. But the number of views stagnated at around 1k and I think something I could have done better here is instead of saying AI art is an art, I could have done a more 50-50 split because as you can see, the likes are uh, disproportionately negative. But if I were to say something like instead of, you know, AI art is an art, which, you know, you could just unanimously say that it's not art, I could do something like, hey, is AI art acceptable, right? Then that's kind of more half and half, more uh, people that are open to new technologies might say, yeah, it's good, argue for that. And then people who are against it that might say it's very not good because it's copyright infringement. But no one's going to come out and say that AI art is art. So you don't really get the net effect of people arguing with each other back and forth in the comments where you split it in 50-50. This is, I think, too negative and it's not really polarizing one way or the other. It's just kind of rage baiting one side as opposed to playing both sides against each other. The second thing I tried is that there is a viral channel called NLF Frames, which makes these really addictive shorts. So I copied the format exactly. Even though my video sucks comparatively in terms of quality, as it's just running through a bunch of still AI generated images is to have 40k views, which is much higher than most of my shorts. Uh, but both videos yielded no sales. Future pivots that might be possible once the ECAC comes out is that I notice it's easier to deal with uh, focusing on Asian markets. I notice most of my customers are from Asia and places like China might not have direct access to ChatGPT and not many people might know how to use VPNs and stuff. So it could be feasible to learn Red Note and do a bunch of translations slash text-to-speech to be able to communicate and attract a Chinese audience that might not have access to as good image generators. But anyway, it's been a long week running late nights and while I've missed this kind of youthful energy like I'm doing all-nighter for a paper due the next day, I'm pretty tired and want to move on to another project for now. So subscribe if you want to see me copy more people and do other crazy projects. Or leave an angry comment about how I shouldn't copy other creators or how AI is an art. Overall, I learned the importance of landing page optimization where embedding a Stripe checkout form instead of sending them to a managed Stripe checkout page converts a lot higher. Second, I learned that high view videos don't mean high conversion. Even though my 40k view shorts had a watermark for my site, viral vids can still be considered top of funnel. Though high view vids can still be nice because if you do get mountain pies by YouTube, you can pump those videos out and be paid by YouTube while at the same time building brand awareness. Then maybe you can still convert people on the back end if they watch a longer video on your channel like this one, which could be more considered bottom of funnel. If you enjoyed this video, here's some other videos for you that you might or might not enjoy. I have no idea. YouTube's recommending them.